and welcome back. In this video, we are going to make a Christmas related Scratch game in under 10 minutes. Okay, let's start by opening up Scratch, starting a new project. And the first thing we're gonna do is convert our cat into a Santa. So I'm gonna select the free draw tool. And I'm gonna draw the hat first of all. So this is gonna be the white bit on the hat. Let's fill that in white. Fantastic, now let's do the top bit of the hat. Looks a bit like that. Let's make that red. Fantastic, let's move that up slightly. Great, now we just need the bobbly bit on the end of the hat. Let's turn that white. And now what we need is, of course, Santa has a beard. So let's create that. And we want to just move that slightly so it's a bit more in the middle. Fantastic. And last thing, let's free tool and have a smile. There we go. So let's press the tick button. And there's our Santa. Let's make them a bit smaller. Fantastic. Now what we want to do is create a background. So I go to our select background button, select the um, winter, but we're gonna adjust that slightly by deleting a couple of these trees. So we've got a bit of space there to do our game. Fantastic, right. Now what we need to do is create our Christmas pudding to roll along the screen so that the Santa can jump over it. So we're gonna go to the plus character button, Paint object and let's create our Christmas pudding. We need a circle first of all, and let's fill that brown. That's all, what the color is of the Christmas pudding. Next, what we're gonna do is create the sort of icing that, oh, icing on top. Let's create that, fill that white, fantastic. Now what we need is our bit of holly on top. So we have a small berry first of all. Let's make that red. Let's duplicate that. Fantastic. Now we need the ivy leaves or the holly leaves. There we go. Fill that. Dark green. Let's duplicate that. Okay, so let's put this here now. Move these so the holly goes behind it or the leaves go behind it. Rotate this slightly, fantastic. There is our Christmas pudding, fantastic. Let's make that a bit smaller. Great, so we want the, great. So we want the pudding to roll this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the code for the pudding now. So when the green flag starts, we want it to roll left and we want that to continuously happen. It moves us, but we also want to give it the um, look of actually rotating. So we're gonna to go to the rotate option there. And let's just give that a test. Fantastic, look at that, it looks absolutely great. Let's stop that reset. Um, what we do want to happen is if the um, Christmas pudding is touched by Santa. We want that to say game over. So we are going to say, let's stop. So if it, start, if it bumps on the into an object, it's going to stop. Sorry, wrong one. It's going to stop. And then it's going to say, game over. Hasn't really worked. So let's try. Do it with the keyboard. Great. So let's test that. Brilliant. Reset again. Now we need to code our um, joypad so that we can move our center. So go to the plus character button again. Create. Go to paint, let's have a blue button. Create a square, fill that. It's gonna be our jump button, it's gonna be there. 
We also want a left and right button. So we just go to the create character button again, go to the previous one we've made, go to paint and let's just change the color of it. Let's go um, yellow for this one. Okay, there we go. And let's have one more button. So plus character button again, go to the button we've previously created, paint. Let's change that to purple. Okay, so let's code these buttons now. So when that button is tapped, we want to send a purple message. Let's copy that across to the yellow, change that to yellow, copy that over to the blue button, change that to blue. Now let's go back to our Santa. And what we want to do is when the purple, a blue button is received, what we ha want to happen is that the Santa jumps and we're going to have that as six. So it jumps quite high. Let's test that. Fantastic. But we also want the Santa when the blue button is to receive. To make the jump not just up, it needs to go across. I'm going to say cross four. Then we're going to wait five tenths of a second. Then it's going to go back five and then make sure they're facing the right way so go across one so let's test that great so it jumps and makes his way back fantastic okay well also we want to happen is we want when the yellow button is pressed we want santa to move left and when the purple button is pressed because a, a purple message will be sent. We want Santa to go right. So let's give that a quick test. Green flag to start. Touched it, but the jump was good. Let's reset again. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. Okay, fantastic. And there is our Santa jump game. Congratulations and well done on making your game. If you do need any help or have any questions, please leave a comment below. The next video should appear somewhere on the screen shortly. And if you want to keep up with all the games we're producing throughout December, please subscribe here.